Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's been awesome this afternoon, oh, yes. uh, the morning. It is awesome. God bless your hearts. And your, you know, your intelligence is just awesome. Yeah, my question goes to Sister Misery. Um, you said something about legacy business and uh, survival business. Mm -hmm. If you can actually throw a little light on the differences you know, for a layman to have a business that will be a legacy and then the other one as a survival business. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you for that because it's, it's, a, it's a huge deal. Um, the first thing is you want to build assets, right? Like your, your, your company requires capital, meaning you're pouring time, energy, right? And what you're putting into it, you also have to say, what are you getting out of it? And the things that is coming out is like input, process, output. All of the investment, the seed you are planting. Okay, if you plant corn, you plant corn again next year. You plant corn again, you will continue perpetually be planting corn. But when you plant cocoa, you plant it once, it might take five years, but it becomes an asset that serves you 20, 30 years. I'm just using that story. Is that the companies that last, it's not about the product or service you are offering today. It's your strategic position in the marketplace. Equity stays in the brand. And many people do not brand. Nike, the brand has more value than their shoes. Right? And what investors throw money at is the brand promise. Is the brand promise. And the brand promise comes from the heart and the DNA of the founder. Elon Musk, they throw billions at him. Right? But one of the secrets of Elon Musk is he has his own brand identity. People know who he is, the results he can deliver, his capacity is demonstrated it over and over, that he's a money maker for investors. But he also has another secret. He also, whatever you also create, you brand it. So I manage about eight brands. So I have my own, in fact, this was two or three years ago, God told me to separate Toyin brand from my work because Toyin is going to go to places where my company will not yeah. go, right? So the, the secret is you must create assets. Assets that hold value, okay? That this, and those assets require investment, but when you are investing, there are investments that are operation expenses, overhead, you, it's perpetual. But there are things that are depreciable, you know, assets that the company will own, right? And then your brand also is equity, but the equity is also determined in brand investment, and, it's, and part of it is exposure of your brand to as many your story and your brand to as many people as well. In fact, I, I do that first before I do anything. Praise the Lord. Just as an example, this is where legacy business is not, oh, I want survival businesses, I need money today. I planted today, where is my harvest? <laughs> legacy business, the way I'm using that phrase is five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. This is what we leave to our children. You have businesses 80 year old, 100 year old, one that's 50 plus old, is that they build, they use their life. Remember I talked about time is an opportunity to create. But what are we going to create? Are we going to create things? Because impact, legacy is going to be determined by three things. I, let me just quickly share it. The quality of the work, the magnitude of the work, and the value of the work. Some people do poor quality, it doesn't last. We can use time, energy, do all kinds of things, the moment that person is gone, the work, impact, size, magnitude, how many people are we going to reach? The value, perceived value of our work, because it's, beauty is in the eye of the builder. So for me, the reason I talk this way is because I'm coming from working for the biggest company in the world, a legacy brand. And when I came to become an entrepreneur, I'm applying those things and I'm also trying to help people to say, come from this Base. There's also layers of business, and the people in the middle and the people at the top, they behave differently. They make investments. In the boardroom, when we are talking about this company, we are making multi-million dollar investments in 
legacy, not just money today, but how we are going to build a factory that will continue to consistently create value, whether the founder is here or not. Okay, so your advice to us now as uh, young entrepreneurs is that whatsoever we are producing, whatever, whatever value we are making to happen, we let it outlast us. So that it's going to be legacy, not something that we just produce the money that we want to eat today, so that we continue the rat race. Sir, this is the only way forward. You know why? That's what good. the previous generation failed to do is why we are where we are. Okay. And if we fail to do, the children will still be carrying employment letter all over the place. The reason you do build a legacy business is because your employer did this. Everybody that is employer, right, go and read the story of the founder, the sacrifices and what they, if they didn't build that structure that can make other people's life better, and this is, this is not for everybody. It's a tough thing to pull off. It's very, very tough, right? But I know God has given no, people ideas, right? Because this is the only way. In fact, let me connect back to Africa. This is the only way out for us as Africans is we must own businesses that are old value, that creates value, we, that, that can employ us. our own people, on and on and on. That's the only way, at least Hallelujah. in my own world, forward. Praise and the Lord. Did it help? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pastor.